As growers are planting more and more plants, not only are the plants closer together, but each plant has a smaller root system. So we have to be more efficient in the way that we are fertilizing our crop. And one way to do that is placing the nutrients right where the crop can get to it. And that's where banding comes in. And that's what we're looking at in our research. We're trying to look down the road and say, what's it gonna take to fertilize better and continue to increase corn yield? One of the management factors that's changed the most in corn production over the last 60 years is the number of plants planted. With today's corn hybrids, they have an increased crowding stress tolerance. And so what that allows us to do is year after year, plant higher planting densities. If you look at the average yield of corn in the U.S., it goes up a little over two bushels per acre per year. And associated with that increase has been a linear increase in the number of plants planted about 400 plants per acre per year. And guess what? It's gonna continue to go up. But one pitfall to that is you have a smaller rooting system as you bump up planting density. When we compare the root system of a standard population with what a future population is going to look like, each individual plant's root system is distinctly smaller. You have a smaller rooting system, it's gonna not be as able to uh, search out for nutrients within the soil profile. So what we've done is we've flipped these plants upside down to demonstrate how much of that soil is actually occupied by a root. And look at all this area with no root. Now if you look at this root system at a standard density, it only goes about seven inches. Roots do not cross the row. And as we know, as you increase the density, it's even less of a horizontal spread. And that's what necessitates a better way of fertilizing. We've seen time and time again that you can increase your fertilizer use efficiency with banding. From an agronomic standpoint, banding fertilizer gets that plant off to a faster start. It emerges faster, it grows faster, it sets a higher yield potential. So here we have some research where we both banded and broadcast urea. And what you can see is a much larger ear where we banded versus broadcast. You can also see from banded fertilizer is that the plants stay healthier longer. And you can visualize that by greener leaves. From an environmental point of view, this really fits into for our system as the right place to place your nutrients. By placing it under the soil surface, it's less subject to losses by erosion or runoff. So that means we're getting more of the nutrients applied into the crop, into the grain, we're increasing grain yield, removing more of those applied nutrients with the crop. One of the major benefits is a higher yield. We've been researching this, comparing standard and higher plant densities, both banded and broadcast. Under the standard density, we see on average a 15 bushel yield advantage from the banding, but when we run that density up, we double that advantage from banding to 30 bushels. When we switch our focus from fertilizing the soil to fertilizing the plant, that pays off big time. It's an important practice that uh, I think guys should consider. Growers need to think of how they're gonna continue to fertilize in the future. And banding is a natural fit, and that's gonna pay in higher yields at the end.